Hey guys, my name is uh, Solomon Jagwe. I am the creator and director of the Adventures of Mkosa and Nancha. It's an upcoming uh, 3D animated uh, TV series for children. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the results uh, from the research I've been doing uh, using iClone uh, to create lip syncing. I think, you know, from the results that I've gotten, uh, I truly believe that it's a good uh, alternative and affordable solution. Uh, for upcoming and independent uh, film directors out there like myself. Uh, it's pretty easy to use and there are a bunch of new uh, features that they've added that have made it easy. So let's jump in. So this is the uh, clip I wanted to share with you first before I dive into the tutorial. Uh, I rendered this in Maya using Octane Render and up the animation that you're gonna see was applied, was created uh, from a custom character that I imported into uh, 3D Exchange, which I, I then sent to iClone for animating and adding the voiceover. Um, let's play the clip so you can see the results for yourself. Nancha, my darling, it's bedtime now. But before you go to sleep, I'd like to tell you a story. Nancha, my darling, it's bedtime now, but before you go to sleep, I'd like to tell you a story. Uh, so, to be honest with you, I, I really didn't know, you know, what the results were going to be. I, I just dived in and spent, you know, some time just doing some tests here and there until I finally came up with uh, something really good. Now, this, I have to keep, uh, re remind everyone that you have, your character have to be prepared in 3D Exchange. It has to have all the morph, morphs or you know blend shapes for for the animation to be able to be applied, and you have to go through the tutorial, uh, tutorials that I, uh, Real Illusion provides in the, on their YouTube channel. They've made a, a, you know available a wealth of tutorials on how you can bring your custom characters into iClone and uh, 3D Exchange. So let's move into 3D Exchange. So I can show you the, the process and how I get into iClone and then back uh, to Maya. So here's uh, my you know character, custom character inside of uh, 3D Exchange. And as you can tell, all these uh, uh, blend shapes or if you, if you prefer, morphs um, are available and ready for the lip syncing. But if this is required for you to be able to take it to iClone. Uh, to you make you know the most of those new tools that they've added, and Reolution has made a wealth of you know tutorials for you to be able to see how this all is done. So please visit their YouTube channel and check out some of their tutorials. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to Icon. Uh, here's my uh, custom character that I've imported from 3D Exchange into Icon, and. What we're gonna do is now we're gonna go through the process of applying the lip sync and the audio file that I need to for the character to be speaking. In this case, this is uh, Nancha's mother, and she's telling her a bedtime story. And one thing that I, I really that drew me to iClone initially was seeing some of the new uh, features uh, with this uh, character creator, you know, character creator, <laughs> I guess, characters. And this is what I mean. Uh, when you select this character, for example, and you go to the animation part, and you create a script, right? And you Im Im import the audio file. Okay. Nancha, my darling. It's bedtime now. But before you go to sleep, I'd like to tell you a story. So, as you can tell, you know, well, please ignore the <laughs> flickering on the screen. I think it's like a graphics, you know, driver issue. But if we're gonna, let me bring up the, select the character, and let's bring up the avatar, the root node, so we have the access to the visa, uh, visin, visin track, not visa, I visin track, sorry about that. And so, see if I can fit this inside the, fit to the window, so you can see what the key no, is. And this default setting, right, 
when you right click on the audio file there is a feature here that is missing when you're working with custom characters and that's the feature that actually makes it possible to have smoothing and making the characters look like they are speaking more you know, fluently and what I mean by that is that let me close this particular uh, file and open a new folder, a new project using a CC character. So those characters can be found in the template section. And so go to character, double click, and they're going to be under CC. Now, it has to be specific to CC characters, so just f follow along. Um, now I want to use obviously a female character to drive my you know custom character. So here's Natalie, for example. I'll bring her into the scene, and I'm gonna press select her and press J to focus on her face. And when I click on her face, and I bring up the create a script command to bring to add the audio, the audio file. I'm going to use the same audio file that I used for Mama Nancha. So you open that. Nancha, my darling. It's bedtime now. So by default, I mean, you can tell it, you're still getting the same, you know, um, kind of results with a custom character as, as with the CC character. And the reason I say CC is it's an avatar, it's a 00 CC character that comes with uh, Icon 6. And when I select this character, and I go to the timeline and I, sh I turn on the Natalie and it's frame the whole pro uh, project so it is in the window here rewind and I have to make sure that the Vizen track is there expand it and if you press the plus sign on the numpad, you'll be able to zoom in. And so, notice this little option right here. It says lip options. Well, that's where the trick is in making you know the character sound much better, look much when it comes to the lip syncing. And when you right click on this, you're gonna see it says lip sync options. Okay, so you click on that, and here we're gonna rewind this and we're going to turn on smoothing and we're going to increase the level let me just take it up all the way to five and we're also going to do clip strength include that as well to like 1.4 and then click apply say okay click okay and now you have a new track down here with lip sync options and there's a, a big difference when it comes to the the animation let's play back and see Nancha, my darling it's bedtime now, but before you go to sleep, I'd like to tell you a story. So my challenge was, how do I get these lip sync options on my custom characters? I'm like, I mean, I, I really like the result I'm seeing right now. And when I look, uh, zoom into the lips, I mean, for sure, the, there's a difference in Not terms sure, of the darling. smoothness. It's bedtime now. And also, um, you, this is for you know, like specific areas of the mouth, but you can also go to uh, hold on, let's go back to the animation tab, and you can also vise in strength. You can increase it. Let's just crank it up for let's say for demonstration. Nancha, my darling, it's bedtime now, but before you go to sleep, I'd like to tell you a story. So once I had this recorded, um, I realized that I couldn't really do the same thing with my custom character. So here's the trick. What you do is, with after you've done the editing, of course you have to go through and you can even edit, go as far as you want with changing some of these, you know, the amplitude of these uh, visions to make a better animation. And once you're happy with it, uh, go to the animation tab right here go to facial animation right in here create a new folder give it any name 
double click on that and make sure the character is selected in the scene. Now we're using the CC character, right? So press add and a, a new script will be created. That script is going to have all these details down here on the timeline. It's going to save the, the smoothness is going to be applied as well. What's not going to be, going to be added is the uh, Visim strain. So that one you can add after the fact. So once you have this ready, uh, make sure you give it a name to remember. So we just test one for example. Press enter. Uh, then open a new project and bring your custom character. This is what this is where it gets really. So after I load my character back, the custom character, uh, just click on her and double click on this test one. You notice over here, oh, let's make sure the avatar is available so you can see it. Uh, bring in, we can take off transform and motion, we, we bring the Bison track. Okay, so right now there's nothing there. So I double click on this script that I saved in the facial animation, it has to be in the facial animation folder. Double click on it. Nancha, my darling, it's bedtime now. But before you. And there you have it. Now you have a much smoother animation that can that is taken from the CC character and then brought into your onto your custom characters. And you can go to the animation tab and increase the Visim strength. Go rewind and play. Nancha, my darling, it's bedtime now. But before you go to sleep, I'd like to tell you a story. So this is what we did in just a short period of time, you know. So you, if you spent a whole day, you could improve this to, to a much better, you know, animation clip with lip sync. So I'll go ahead, right click and remove uh, object animation. And I'm gonna go back to facial animation and bring in one that I already made and double, make sure the character is selected and double click on it. Nancha, my darling. It's bedtime now. You see how much smoother the leaves are? Before you go to sleep, I'd like to tell you a story about Mrs. Elephant. So that is the result that you're able to get. And when you're ready to, once you're happy with the animation, uh, simply, I'm going to make sure again I fit to window, uh, drag the range, make sure collect clip is enabled. It's, it's up here, you can turn it on if it's not available, if it's not visible. Then drag and uh, drag, dra click and drag to select a, a range of the file that you want to send to 3D Exchange. So right click on that and add motion plus. It has to be add motion plus to 3D Exchange. Make sure your character is available in 3D Exchange. And then click on that and it'll do its thing. So we've gone back to 3D Exchange. Nancha, my darling. And it's bedtime. Let's zoom in. But before you go to sleep, I'd like to. What I, I recommend is make sure when you bring in the character, uh, don't just send it right away. Make sure you actually save the animation, and then that animation can be applied to your specific character. That's why I was. That's how I was able to apply my, my animation to my character that I'd imported in here. And when you're done, then you can export out of this into Maya and render <laughs> really with any render engine that you want. But going back to iClone again, the key again is to work with that those CC characters first, right? This could be Christian if it's a male, start with Christian. If it's a female, start with Natalie. And then save that file uh, into the animation tab in the facial animation as a script. And then apply that script to your custom character. And then even after you've applied that uh, the animation, you can still go back and fix. What If there's something that you don't like, you can go back and still fix it in here and then send the animation to 3D Exchange and then off export as an FPX file to Maya. So that's the tutorial that I was 
I wanted to show you, share with you guys and I hope you know it's it helps anyone out there who is, um, uh, you know an independent film maker or animator who's on a budget uh, I, I iclone is truly an, a good solution or alternative uh, to a number of other you know to other expensive you know, facial animation and lip sync you know programs out there give it a try again apologies for the flickering on the screen but uh, I hope it this was helpful and if you guys if you have a few minutes to spare just visit my uh, website where the, the adventures of Nkosa is uh, it's Nkosa and Nancha.com and check us out on uh, Facebook as well it's our Facebook page and also our YouTube channel over here uh, all those links are available you can just click here and I mean this is a self-funded project <laughs> just just like all of us dreamers we always we have stories to tell but I would really appreciate if any of you have you know some money to spare uh, take some time to you know give a, a donate to the Koza Anacha on the production and uh, share with your friends thank you so much